This show is brought to you by the Guitar Colonel, Australia's best vintage and used guitar shop. And, the Watt Store Australia. Handmade, pre-seasoned, traditional Chinese walks. And I've lost my mic. You've lost your mic. You've lost your mind, Colonel. <sighs> Hello. We need a quick change. One okay. moment. This Here is we go. Very oh. uncomfortable. This is very uncomfortable. Hello, if you've tuned in. Sorry, we're late. Oh. Tech problem. Oh, this will okay. reveal our secret. It's dun, dun, not. Dun, dun, dun. It's, it's not actually Billy Gibbons and oh Dusty. Oh my God. My glasses oh. are so fogged up. My God. I don't know, I don't know how you wear a baseball cap. They're so warm. I know. I can't turn it off I guess, but... Uh, whew, whew, man. Welcome to... Hello. The, there we go. Welcome to Sun okay. Studios. Oh, right. Might, Classic. Have I you ha- been to Sun Studios? I haven't, but gee, it would be close to where we're going today, Colonel. Yes, So indeed. close. Just South, down the road from the studio. South America. Well, Southern America. Panda, Southern do you America. want to come up here? Come on, quick. Come up. It's about as civilized as South you America. Sit over there. Okay, sit down. Sit yeah, down. so, um, you know, that? get your Southern things yeah. ready, folks, because we're celebrating another great rock album. We've given yes. it all away yes. on the intro. Yes. You've, so apologies for running we'll, a bit late y- there. You've got uh, um, a Shih Tzu dog, not a corn dog. I do. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ah. there's no beers here today, but. Um, there will be some beers later. Oh. Uh, we have uh, young Alan coming in to um, give a demonstration of good old Donna. Oh, fantastic, which I see, um, you know, privilege oh, aside. Oh. A little bit higher. It, it, it's floppy. <laughs> this one's always floppy. I know, but I just want you to adjust your mic, that's all. There we all. go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you've taken mm. uh, Shopkeeper's Privilege this morning, of yes, course, and, and, yes. and grabbed the 1959 for a mm. show which features a very famous 1959. It does. Uh, Billy Gibbons has... Um, a 59 Les Paul. I, I'm guessing he still owns it. I and it's called it's called Pearly Gates. Yes, indeed. And to buy the replica. Oh, they make one like in the, do. In the Collector yeah. series. It's almost as expensive as the new one. I mean, the real, <laughs> the real one. The real one would have to be a million now, I'm guessing, yeah. going on the value yeah, sure. valuation of guitars. Absolutely. Have they had that Kurt Cobain auction yet? The 19th. Oh, God. 19th. It's, well, it's today. It's today. It's wow. today in American time. So jump on board, folks. Let's and, find uh, out what the D20E, no, D18E sells D18 for. D18E. Very good. And how have you been, Sir Nigel? Uh, I've had a huge week. Welcome, huge I should week. say, to uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah, Australia. Well, Australia. 
Straya. That's it. Straya. 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 With an S. Yeah, it looks super. And a little bit hungover from a marvellous party last night with a, a few guitars and lots of good friends. and Excellent. Pizzas from uh, Tucker, a Tosco, my neighbourhood pizza place in Middle Park. Shout out right. to them. Hey. And uh, you weren't invited, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have no friends. No. <laughs> I, live, I live a friendless life. I've told everyone this before. Oh, yeah. We're doing it all, doing it all again tonight with the Geordie Shredder. But, um, wow. So, yeah, after you know, 20 years, got citizenship. Pretty excited Incredible. about that. That's, that's, cool. that's very cool. Well done. And on the same day, um, my good mates at... Orange Sky Laundry, which you very patriotically yes. wore the socks for recently, yeah, I did. Mm. got uh, invested for their Medals of the Order of Australia. Wow. So, there you know, go. as I said it's in impressive. a tweet, you know, Australia's the dark side to Australia. There's some, there's some things you don't want to subscribe to. Mm. There's some absolutely amazing things about Australia, oh, like those good, boys sir. and the work they do with the homeless. I subscribe to that Australia. Thank you very much. You know, I think today, Sir Nigel, is just one of those crazy... Remember the, the bad old days of streaming? I think we're having one of those days oh, today. No. But uh, let's see. We they do. We have connection. Oh, uh, well. We have... Yeah, uh, yeah we're having a while. trouble it took, us, it took us a while getting going, but um, I guess we're a podcast. Podcasts are hot, Colonel. I, I, do, I, went, to a, I went to an yes, online course webinar from Spotify this week. Did you? And what's coming with podcasts is remarkable. So, what's the latest? Uh, well, well, tell me. Video, you, to, you talk. And video let me see if I can video just, uh, is going to be the thing with podcasts, and it's because yes. Spotify have lured away your, you know, fellow broadcaster Joe yes. Rogan. And, and yes, they have. They so have in, in January, Joe Rogan goes across to Spotify, and yes. of course, demands full um, video rights and all the nine yards, and they've also yes. captured. Uh, another of your favourites, Kim Kardashian. What? To, really? Yeah, Kim Kardashian oh. West is launching a vodcast on Spotify. So it's it's game. Like we, you know, we get caught up in that whirlwind, and you get offered ten million dollars. I take ten million right now. We might be, right now. We might be I confusing folk and swapping this to Spotify. To be honest. Oh my god! Yeah. So I that, think, that's uh, pretty cool. Facebook. There's too many. There's too many problems. Although, uh, you know what's been happening on on Facebook for our show recently? No. All of the um, the, the uh, comments com- are getting longer. I can notice. That's, <laughs> that's one thing. Hello, folks. You're not supposed to write an essay in your comment, folks. Just hello will do. But um, someone tell us if we have video or not. It's hard to tell from here. But um, uh, all of the previous shows are now being picked up for copyright. Oh. And so I every day I get a Warner Brothers message. Right. Warner Brothers. Work. This but one well. This will be one. I can test it by the fair trade option because mm. they give you a few options to say what are you using the music for so i yeah. select fair trade sure and guitar lessons yes and i normally win. well it's true normally win because that's the essence of today colonel is we are actually going back to the old show which is yes. guitar lessons yes contained yes. within a yarn and in our case a great rock album now what made yes, you what made you go back to 1973 and choose cz top Trey's Hombre. Also, Nigel, I've never left 1973. Right. I've always been there. Uh, I like that record. I mean, I, I like the sound of it. Mm. I like the fact that it's blues, but it's kind of funky, southern. Mm, there's something it's, it's something more to it than just a basic shuffle. It is and the album that sent them to the stratosphere. It did. It yeah. did indeed. And, uh, I mean, great songs. I like the sound. I like everything about it. I like the sound of his voice. Um, I like the fact that he's playing a 59 Les Paul. Oh, I yeah. I think most yeah. of that record. And um, it's fun to play on guitar. Like, I, I as a guitar teacher, yeah. it's fun to teach. Oh, that's what we want. It's that's great. What we want. So. I chose an SG this morning because I didn't get to play it recently. And these no. two, they come in and out of the store f- so fast I never get to play them. So They are at the moment. They're really, they're really shooting along. Now, because we're late, Sir Nigel... We can't mess around. We can't mess around. What we time should, have you we, got Well, there, we need to do the traditional acknowledgement of... Not, yes, we do. Not, yes. Uh, country, yes, but also people who turned up to our country. Michael Ray is on. Michael Ray says... Oh, let's see if David... Uh, yeah, uh, Dave. Uh, we we um. Hello, David, in London. What we must that? have some picture going, so I'll just go with it. Okay. Michael Ray says, "Geez, I knew there was a toilet paper shortage, but I never knew you couldn't get razors." Aha! Uh-huh. Yes. In South Melbourne during lockdown. What's, Jeez. what's going on? I don't what's know. It must be those two blokes who were in here at the start of the show. <laughs> uh, Cole Evans, which 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, Which one's Frank? Uh, huh? Oh, no, Frank's not here. Frank's not here. Oh, Frank, yeah, and he's the, um, he's the only one. Without a beard. With and a I beard. believe his name's not actually Frank. I think he's got a weird name like Rube or something like that. Oh, right. I've changed it. Because, I mean, I'm Rube full beard. of authoritative information that you can shortcut this part. You just pause here and go and watch the Netflix documentary on ZZ yes. Top. And yes. um, that saves me having to lay a whole lot of trivia on us. Might make this show more efficient this morning, oh. Colonel. So you watch the doco? Yes, thanks to your recommendation this yeah. week. Did it you like it? Highly educational. Yeah. And I thought, nice, you know, really mm. very cool. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty honest about uh, the price of success. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of those um, docos, the people who are successful, just they always come across it. There's nothing else I can do. And this, mm. is, this, is all I, this is all I've got, so I'm going for it. And of course, 99% of the time, that probably <laughs> works out to be a failure. But I do like the one percenters. Yeah, They're look, good. it's luck. This is absolutely luck, but incredible talent as well. I like the way they go right back to 1968. And you yes. realize, so, so uh, Billy Gibbons is 70. And that's a great age to be a great rocker like he is. Absolutely. Still going well, still with absolutely. his hands. And uh, so 68, he's uh, obviously talented. You've got Dusty, clearly loves the bass. Yes. And, um, you know, living in the South. So Texas, yeah. this is a hotbed of, of country music, of, of black Af African-American blues, yes. those kind of things. And the, they both grew up listening to Elvis. Yes. On the white radio. Yeah. And listening to illicitly the the blues stations in at night on their little crystal radio sets hidden away <coughs> so and that, so that combination this so they, they, they make no apology their their music is elvis crossed with muddy waters mm. so that was a unique combination to come out that's and very cool uh, this album, of course, isn't, isn't their first album. This is their third studio album. Oh, right. What was their... Um... So the, the first album is called ZZ Top's first album. Oh, there you go. Which is... Uh, <laughs> Self-explanatory. It's kind of easy to remember. And uh, they look... Yeah, look, this is... And I love the story on the video about how they met um, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so they went on tour with the Jimi Hendrix experience mm. and... 13th floor elevators yes yes um, rocky erickson just got was you know dragged into an incredible tour and that's a lucky combination along the way yes um came off that tour did their first album um two of the members of the band on that tour which what was it being called oh, I forget. Oh, moving sidewalks moving sidewalks that's right yeah two that's of the band the members first. get drafted to vietnam so that it's oh, the band's over that's the end and then, you know, in ZZ Top's basically born as a, he loved the Jimi Hendrix Experience three-piece. Yes. Although not the greatest three-piece of all time, Colonel, because that no. would, that would be that, uh, someone Nirvana. else. Nirvana, yeah. yeah. And um, off they went. So, yeah, Frank Beard turns up. He has a mate called Dusty Hill and the three yes. of them jam in C for several hours. So. That's right. Shuffle in C. Um, so, yeah, look, we should celebrate the same what what i love these songs one of oh. the first things I, I ever got to sing on stage was sharp dress man but that's a generation <laughs> after and that's the, yeah in that's some cool. ways they've they've turned a corner and gone somewhere else yeah I'm, it's cool they've had sort of two or three big career pivots and, mm. and fame and then they've drifted off and then they're back and it's kind of cool yeah definitely so and again he's got that guitar hero thing about him as well so you know, if if they're not having number one singles, well then he's he's got Gibson guitars behind him, and he's kind of famous for that. So, yeah, lots of uh, multiple streams of income for Billy. Oh, and he's an absolute mm. scholar on the history of blues, yes. guitars, and otherwise. So. I saw Clapton talking about that once, and he said, "If you want to know about the history of all, talk to Billy Gibbons. He knows yep. it all." So, yeah, he's taking the time, and now, um, just by having those ridiculous beards, they're pretty intelligent fellas. Jesus just left Chicago, says uh, well, should says Pato, Robert Patterson. Yes, well, look, we, we can really, do that one, sir. We really okay. should. Well, that, that's my favourite kind of pairing of those mm. two songs that run into each other. That yes. are the same but different. And what's, well, what's the secret on uh, waiting for the bus, Jesus just left Chicago? How can I not ruin that, Colonel? Uh, <laughs> Leave the studio. Okay. Hang on. 
Put your beard uh, back on and get... Don't ask me that, sir, Nigel. Go and get... Here You're back. like family. Uh, I can't be... No. Um, we uh, will have to do a live version of Jesus uh, oh. just left Chicago because the album version is slightly out of tune and that drives me mad. Yeah. But uh, waiting for the bus, let's have a look. Do you know why it's slightly mm. out of tune? Um, do you... Uh, I know. You know... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can guess, but... It, it, it's a go. production trick. Right. So they were unable to get a sound with three of them, and Bill Ham, their manager, was adamant they weren't going to double-track anything. Oh. So they're in Ardent Studios trying desperately to... Uh, like, and, and they're following uh, a band called Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, yeah. Led Zeppelin, who yeah. have recorded three... Eastern European. ...in the same studio. So they go, I want some of that. Oh, so Robin Hood Studios, and I think it was, it was without doing it. And damn it, they, they, they just, they have to double track. So the second track of the guitar, where he just perfectly repeated the, the, yes. the rhythm section of it, the, the producers come out and stretch the strings off his, oh. so far that they're flat. They're, yes. half, they're half a step flat, basically. Yes. Yeah. Repeats it and layers the two together. And mm. that's what your remarkable ears tonight is included is hearing that it drives me mad but it sounds good i mean oh, if i wasn't playing along it sounds great it, it's so their sound so um, so let's do a live one let's do a live but one show, me, show me the basics show me the basics what do we got here all right let's have a look so, so well it's so blues in g no which one's first waiting or waiting on g? the buses first okay but, um we might we might do Jesus just left Chicago. Let's just go there. We're running out of time. We are running out of time. We can, all over we can this finish morning. with waiting on the bus. Okay, so um, I'm going to play a G. Right. Here's my G. Here's my open G. But what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep holding that G. Yeah. And I'm going to move my two fingers. My first two fingers. Finger one. Oh. And finger two. And I'm sort of going to play it. While I'm holding the G, I'm going to play an A minor 7. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm literally... I've, I've got my third finger on the third fret top string and yep. my pinky on the third fret bottom string. Yeah. And these two fingers are loose. And then they'll come down on an A minor seven type shape, which is fret one, second, yeah. second string, and fret two, fourth string. So you're not, you don't have the B in the no. written opening G. No. No, in rock and roll, most of those fellas, most of those fellas don't play that B. Wow. They don't play it because it's a major third. And it kind of sounds a bit hokey, hokey. But so for rock, just get rid of it. So it's, okay. you know, it's just two Gs. Jesus is a raucous guitar. It's a raucous guitar. SG's early reputation. I'm, I'm feeling a bit left out, Colonel. I'm, I'm go going, the Les. I'm going go, to the Gold. Go the Leicester, sir. Yep. Because it's a pretty video. fancy one. Also, thanks you know, SG. I just realised... I'll clip on a tuner. I'm, uh, I'm... I'll put on a chicken. I'm uh, pre-tuned on that. Oh, man. All right, so... Oh, now I feel now now I feel like I've I'm sorted. I've got. Did I ever tell you I used to have this um, horse who really? suffered from insomnia? Did I ever tell you? No. It was a real nightmare. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. Okay. All right. I'm on with the show. Okay. Where's the Where's the next chord? That's C to C. F. Isn't it? You can do it up here as well. So the octave of the C there. Well, that's the bottom part of a C of a C chord, right? Yeah. Oh no, the octave there. Well, if you're playing, if you're playing a, yeah. a C power chord or C major, so yeah. forget this one and put your first finger where your third one was, and then do this little trick like you're um, like you're playing yeah you need your middle finger here you can even just do that yeah you can even forget your third finger so, uh, 
when the worst comes to worst, I'll play power chords. That's it. And the turnaround's kind of cool on it as well. Oh, this is huge. So that, so that turnaround is fret three and fret three, strings four and string one. And my pinky just sits on yeah, fret three on the G. as I descend down that string, right? down the fourth string. Three, two, one. And then, and then you don't put the D and you just go straight back to the G. And what he does, that's, a, that's just a classic turnaround in G. All right, a he'll cool. hammer a bit. Oh, there's a really cool thing you can do actually. You can have one line going down and one coming up. I like that, but uh, um, he hammers, he hammers on the fourth string, right? Yeah, so he's, so he's yeah, that's it. That's it. How cool is that? I love that little trick. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's, let's treat the world to some. Rob's on. Pato is on. Pato. Fantastic. David Ray is on. Wayne Randall is on. Good morning, Wayne Randall. Salut, cousin Anthony. Very hot in Quebec City today. It's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that in Celsius? Oh. 30 something is it that's, that's not that hundreds much. 40 down here in australia where so nigel has just become strain 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 <laughs> strain i'm learning strain and so uh, like i've got to learn all these things uh, this, it's an online ceremony now and they, they run you through a few things e they? extra questions yes so how do you spell strain S-T-R-A-Y-A-N. Yes. Uh, what did Labor do to the economy? They ruined it. Ruined the economy. <laughs> R-U-N-E-D. Uh, Viking runes and yes. Labor ruined the economy. Yeah, okay, I got that. That's good. Yes. Do you know... Um, um, where, where do you, what do you use when, you, when you're camping, Anthony? Uh, no. You use one of these. <gasps> so what? What, what one of these is, because is, 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 this goes around your ears, right? Yes. This is an ear beard. What? It's an ear beard. It's an ear beard. <laughs> it's oh an my God. ear beard. Dad jokes. Do you know, um, after this, I'm starting a new job uh, at a guillotine. Did you know that? No. Right. I'll be heading there soon. Oh I'll be heading. God, blimey. Uh, I can't find the one that I wanted, so I'm just going to go with, is this live? She's just left live. Let's if if go. you look at on, hey, on, the, on, the, on the remastered I've got Tres it. Hombre, they, the, there's a bonus live track. Are they doing? Are they doing um, Jesus? The, there's a live track down there, or is it? Might uh, be waiting on the. Yeah, good, good question. All right, I can't here we remember. go, folks. I saw them live. Festival, Did you? Festival Hall, 2011. Did you? It yeah, was one of JB's first concerts. Oh wow! Was definitely, cool. kid. Rose tattoo opening. <laughs> That's fantastic. Definitely, definitely mm. ten year old. We yeah. can't be beaten. That was a Thank great you. night out. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it.
<coughs> there we go. So nice. That was kind of cool. I felt much fun. better on a Liz Paul, to be honest. These tunes um, are tailor made. Yeah. Liz Paul. Wow, wow. That sounded good. That sounded really good. So, yeah, that's that, that lovely. Is it Liz, Ga- Liz Gold Top for sale? Or is it yours? It is. No. <laughs> no <laughs> more. Wish. No more Gibsons. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a, no, it's for sale. This is oh. 2013. So okay. we have that under offer at the moment. Oh. But we're just trying to negotiate right. a little deal I'm on I've led you one. astray, Les Paul fans. Yes. Because um, we do tend to sell the guitars that come on the show, which is a beautiful we thing. We do. Um, but that's a mint condition. I actually like these norms. I like this. I don't know what you've got. Similar, but fancier ones. Yes. Yeah, too. Uh, very similar. Authentic. Um, in fact, uh, Paul D has just joined us. He has. And uh, I'm going to make an impassioned plea. Wait a second. Yes. Hang on. One. On behalf one. of Alan. Dear Paul. Oh, sorry. Turned up the wrong echo. Okay. Yeah, don't. Dear Paul. Since Nigel has joined Australia, I would like this guitar for half price. <laughs> There we go. Right. As your sacrifice. As my sacrifice. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm your little little fella. Yeah. Okay, so nine, um, So they're a touring band, you know, they're tight. Into the studio in 71. Yes. For ZZ Top's first album. Into the studio in 72 for Rio yeah. Grande Mud. Right. Nothing really yes. notable yeah. comes from this. They're still just the greatest band in, in Texas. No singles hits, did they? One, but what? only on local radio. Right. You wouldn't okay. recognise it. No. Bam, back into the studio again in mm. 73. Yes. I mean, and, and, they, and they've had that whole kind of uh, Rolling Stones experience as well. So the, so the Stones heard the first album. Yes. And invite them to Hawaii to open for their show. Oh, wow. And, and these sort of three cowboy hicks and hats turn up to, in Hawaii to open for the Rolling Stones. Don't get the greatest of receptions. Oh. Blow the roof off. Yeah. And, and, and Mick Jagger's apparently sort of side stage just going, but it's going to be hard to follow, <laughs> as you do. And uh, their incredible disappointment is that it left nothing, really. Mm. And so they, they turned that into a plus. They turned, you know, they turned lemons into lemonade and, yes. and they, they started that incredible tour of the little, best little old band from Texas That's world right. tour. And didn't they have caged... <laughs> Animals, buffaloes, and longhorn steer, and vultures, and it was just the most insane seven semi trailer. Maybe tour. now that you're Australian, yep. um, we could do it. We could putting do the L in there. You'll get. You won't Stra- pass the exam. Stra- Australian. 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 Yeah, see, Australian. I'm, I'm not. I'm not from here originally. Yeah, no. It's hard. We could do that. We could get some Australian uh, animals and cage them up, lock them up. We have. And, You've got um, one right there. <laughs> <laughs> the native rare, shizu the native shizu from uh, Queensland yeah yes so anyway look I, I mm. love it because the 70s was a wild time I think diversity was the story of bands in the 70s yes they're rediscovering these fine rock instruments Matt big time and big time. you know Matt that would have been the time to whip around all of the second hand oh. shops in Houston uh, I don't and try and it. find the Les Paul I just heard a story about that in fact Mike McCready from Pearl Jam has some 59 instruments. He's got a 59 Les Paul. And the one that he... Oh, I know. It's right. The one that he has was bought... I think the owner before him just found it in a pawn shop yep. in Seattle or something. They were not a popular guitar. And the story of the Les Paul is incredible like that because this looked like your dad's guitar. Les Paul looked like your dad. Yes, And he indeed. played it with such precision and finger-picking... That, yeah. it, that it wasn't a rock and roll Dad guitar. Rock. Don't want that. So the 50, that 58, 59, 60 years were just language. They made 1,700 across three years. <gasps> How many did they make in 59? Was it it's only 300. 300. Oh, my God. So <laughs> demand's terrible. Because this bit, got this bit makes the young people the think it looks somewhere. like a violin, like an old-fashioned yeah. guitar. And they want the, the rounded curves of the surf rock hero, the Stratocaster. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that either. Well, so, so yeah, if you had a time machine, I'd be going back and round all the junk stores. Pearly Gates came with a note in the case. Really? Yeah. What? It was a note from a woman to the previous owner what? saying, oh. uh, if I can quote it correctly, the note, the handwritten note, which he still kept, yes. says, I like what you do. See me later and I'll show you what I do. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> and he felt that was the guitar talking to him. Wow. And uh, there's a famous story for you. I got one of the, I got a note just like that slipped under the door the other day and I opened up the door. It was Alan. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, it wasn't very good. There you I go. I was very disappointed. Saying pass the drugs. <laughs> So, so seventy three, <laughs> this explodes. Uh, mm. they, they tour it, and and you know, massive tour, burn themselves out terribly. Yes, and and it's the reinvention of ZZ Top, which is when I first encountered them. Yes, so I, Eliminator. Yeah. Yes, so they're coming back a de- almost a decade later. Yes, with this whole new sound, this mm. gigantic rock sound and the concept of the car and then like oh my god i watched this like oh it's just not very comfortable watching the sexism of, <laughs> of zz top and uh, it kind of there's an emancipation element to it and oh uh, yeah yeah i hear all your stories but oh it's awkward doesn't your white privilege Ooh. pride tune in to that Nigel? yeah no i did i mean I, the music at the time hearing it was just it was so different to everything else but yeah um, i think that was a big prog oh you mean the 80s or the 70s no eliminator the, was eliminator but the 70s yeah. this this was holding a unique position in this corner for blues blues yes rock. yeah absolutely and so, uh, good on them for that really that to me they're kind of like that the first of that texan flavored blues mm. it's, it's putting texas on the map absolutely really. yeah so they were lucky they uh escaped their record original record deal because in the hiatus while they were burned out and frank was um no nah, yeah, it was frank who consumed seventy two thousand dollars worth of drugs it's good that he didn't he didn't uh, think about rounding it at 70. He no. went the extra two grand. He spent a lot. Worth. He spent you know, a lot. The Why other, not? The other two wanted the world growing the beards. Yes. Which is how we got the long beards. Yes. And by the time they came back together three years later, they, they were ready to create Eliminator. But, um, yeah, like, he spent all of his money on that. They got out of it because in that time, the record, their old record company got frustrated and released the greatest, greatest hits. Yes. Which breached their contract. So they were able to That's walk annoying. away from that record company, cut another bigger deal, mm. and you know, there you go, we got Eliminator. And uh, as the it's boys say funny. on the documentary, this would not have happened if not for one technological revolution in May 1981. We would mm. not have got the second coming of MTV. Yes, exactly. MTV. Yeah, yeah. and did they got crack it. into the teenage? boy hormone video and it just got just massive plays massive plays yes they were huge give me all your loving give me all your loving then afterburner oh but let's go we're back in 73 we're, we we're the left. i find it very difficult to get out of 73 i also find it difficult if you have a photographic memory yeah does it take time to develop uh, <laughs> What uh, else, what else was it? The 70s, so, you know, they've had that great early okay. little little wild wide tour of Texas thing, and then by the time they come back, yes. punk's broken. Yes. So and rather than hating on punk, they actually liked it. They go, that's the right DIY attitude to rock and roll that this, yeah. that this world needs. Yeah. And uh, so good on them for that. I yeah. just, I'm feeling I like, like, um, a little bit of love for them there from the punks. I like uh, the sunglasses. I can't. Uh, sunglasses. Cheap sunglasses. Cheap sunglasses. I yeah. love that. I've always loved that track. 1979. Now, so nine. They're all the same. In the interest so of time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, can, can we do another one? one. Another we can one. do another one. Now, do you want to do the super famous one, or do you, would you like to do waiting on the bus? You can choose. Um, you can choose. Look, I struggle with Lagrange, so maybe it'd be good to get an, a little lesson on. Right, I want to know how to do, do it. that. Um, okay. So, the first thing to do so like is range, just folks. isolate the individual notes that you are supposed to play. So, it's, it's kind of the melody of that riff, right? right? Which is essentially... It's two, five on the, on the fourth string and two and five. This is tab stuff. That's it. So, I can okay. hear that in my head. That's yeah. good. They don't play at that speed though, Colonel. No, they don't. You've got it, okay. So that's, that's right. 
Now he uses his fingers. So what you can do instead of putting oh. a pick away, this is kind of like a magic trick. Does he do a, a finger picking thing? He does a finger pick. So now I've I've hidden my pick here. Where, where's there the pick is. gone? Where is it, boys and girls? Oh my god! And so now I'm using I'm using my first two fingers with a pick hidden and my thumb. And what I'm doing is I've got this. You're putting a bass note in. Or you can just, you've got to get the bass, which is the fifth string, open. Right. And you've got to get the fourth and the third going in that, in that boogie-woogie sort of feel. The other way to do it is just wait till he starts singing and then he changes that too. He puts a C. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Should we do the famous one? You we'll do, do wait on the bus another time, which yeah, is great. This, this is I, there's a rumor spreading around this Texas town. I, I love the turnaround of waiting on the bus though. That sort of. I'm that. watching That's you do that and realize I've just made an excellent choice in life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play that. I just love that. It's so cool. Uh, right. Okay. And, that, so there's, and the second, yes. so it's, it, they do a key shift, don't they? That's the that's the whole. They do a key shift. They do. They, go, they do. And it's okay. C. It's C. And then it's uh, a D flat and a um, an F. Yeah. I can remember that. Okay. And that's kind of like just doing this, right? If I was to take this, which is that open A, the power rock A, like uh, crime scene CSI A, you know. or when Panda does Best something, theme tune ever. DSI, dog scene investigation. Yes, it's always up to no good. Um, so there's my an A with a C. Yeah, right. So I just take that up to fret five. I don't want to put that open A in there. And it's the same riff, right? No, think about what you were doing there. Right. Middle finger on six. Yeah, and then pink. Yeah, it's exactly the same. I'll tell you what, I can hear the difference between these two guitars. You can. So what I think what a great Liz Paul does is, is you've got all the rock you want. But the individual notes picked are this is like the, cl the clarity on this thing. Oh is my god, unbelievable. clarity is the word. And uh, did I tell you, Paul D, because of Australian Nigel, yeah, he's giving me a half price deal, or he's selling it to Alan for full price, right? Yeah, so half, Does that price, make half sense? price deal, it's only 13,000. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great, it's ridiculous, but, you know, but these, it's ridiculously they don't come good. Along. What is it, a collector's collection? This is a collector's choice, number five. And what that means is they've taken an original 59, because yeah. one of the 300, or, well, yeah. I think they've only accounted for like 200 and um, a bit of them. Imagine they, the ones that are in trash. A lot of, yeah, a lot of them have gone. Um, and they've, uh, it's Tom Whitrock's Les Paul, and he's a guitar collector over in the US. Mm -hmm. so he's not a famous player, he's more a collector. And they've taken one of his, and they've just recreated it exactly like the weight the whole thing but it costs a lot of money to do that so yeah but That's then again why. your other choice is half a million and you buy it and, and you get candy yeah so you choose yes. yeah yeah i think uh, well a I very choose. reasonable four grand mm. and, it, and it, uh, i was trying to explain to someone it's like it's an exponential three, curve three no yes yes sir <sighs> today so, only so three yeah. gets you 85 percent of 13 in terms of, uh, yes, I think, in terms yes. of quality of play, yes. Um, there's probably some things in the middle there. Well, look, you know, and then okay, thirteen gets you eighty-five percent of half a million. Well, this is no this story. is no. this is pretty close, in my opinion. Also, do you know Alan? He's a, he drinks a lot. Yeah. He said it's the best he's played since Candy. Right. right. It might Candy's be, the original. This is like his though. methadone program for candy, isn't it? <laughs> so this is getting him off candy. Yeah, I see him around all the time, just yeah. shaking in the street and give me a Les Paul, man. Have you got one? No, no. We're, we're jamming tonight, so I, I shouldn't speak ill of the fellow. 
<laughs> it's 10.04. Let's do... Oh, my God. Okay, well, is it? Oh, okay. We might have to wrap it, actually. Oh. Well, Hello, you, should, you, gave, there. you gave me the LaGrange list, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that now. Should I we know. do that? We'll finish, we'll finish on a little bit of La, LaGrange. All right. Here we go, folks. Do we, yep. We've got to hit the Do we road. do a promo shot? Uh, Too bad. I'm going to take the promo shot yep. from... The bearded section. The bearded section, yeah. <laughs> Speeding. Speeding, sir. Rumor spread around. Your education turned. I just said, God said. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know. Yeah, if you're gonna go. Too bad. Oh, my God. They got a lot of nice girls. <laughs> Gotta hit the road, folks. I salute you. Thank you so Nigel. Thank you for the, the loan of your beard. It's all yours. I'm not putting that on after your COVID ridden self has worn it. So. <laughs> lice, my dog, lice, beard, and everything. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, early ish this afternoon. Yeah, with young well, that... Alan and Donna. Yep. And another Les Paul of some another, type and uh, some an, beers. And... Another Dos Hombres drinking Dos, dos Equis. Saluting two, place, hombres. Two southern birdies. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ciao. Um, See you next week. Ciao, everyone. Three, two, uh...